Everybody and happy Friday! You're back on Sloth and Orchids channel. My name is Elisa, and um, today is going to be a slightly different format. I put a question on my community tab about what kind of content you were interested to see from me, and um, I've given four choices. And I know a few of you guys said that you wanted to choose more than one category and I know unfortunately that wasn't the case but I got a general idea of what you want to see so the two close winners are doing a mini tutorial and me talking about how I plan my collections so I will do the plan in the collection today another thing is that uh, one of the choices I put on there was a day in my life which um, <laughs> nobody wanted to see, <laughs> which made me laugh so bad. But what I meant by that is a day in my sewing life. You no, know, what I meant is like a sewing process, say, on my normal Saturday. So, for example, how I prepare the pattern and maybe cut it out in like a speed up mode and how I sew it together was a couple of, of me talking about the process of sewing in between and then the end of the day I make a pattern and I put it on so something like that <laughs> but um I understand that basically most of those categories you would be interested in I just didn't want to make something and then you guys get annoyed and think, oh, what is that she putting up? But the thing is, I just have to get to grips with the fact that I can't please everybody and I just need to do what I think. I need. I just need to do what's interesting for me and then that in turn will attract the people who will be interested in the same thing. So I think I just want to talk about everything and if I had a guest who was interested in sewing in my house, I would be dragging that guest around and saying, oh, and look at those books, oh, and look at that, and look at this dress I made two weeks ago, and look at, uh, you know, look at my scissors collection, and look at my pins. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the same thing on a video. So basically, I'm going to treat as if you guys come into my house and I'm like, look at this, look at this, this is what I'm planning, this is what I'm making. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm just going to do what comes to my head, obviously, as long as it's sewing related. I understand. <laughs> anyway, um, the second part of the video is coming up. It's going to be all me behind the camera and showing you the fabrics and talking about it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions um, or something that I haven't maybe mentioned, do pop them in the comments and let me know if you like this kind of video and let me know what you think. i speak to you later. Okay, you ready to plan some pretend collection with me? So, <laughs> this is a small part of my fabric stash um, and I just literally pulled out some random fabrics. Not exactly random, but not something that you can chuck in together all of them so um let's just play mix and match and see what we can do okay so when i start planning with a collection <laughs> um i usually start with choosing a fabric that i can make a set with and that's usually a patterned fabric so and you'll see why um, as we go along. So um, I'm going to go for this one. Um, and this fits the profile perfectly. So just, okay, so just to explain, these are all knits. These three are trouser like jeans weight. Um, these are my viscoses. And these are cotton double gauze, some light polyester and some 
cotton jersey so anyway so let's just go with this one for, for a minute and we choose this as our set fabric so this is um, I'm not going to go into detail of, um, on where I got the fabrics from and what patterns I'm going to make I'm just literally going to chuck some fabrics together and tell you my process of my thoughts so um, this is organic jersey okay so out of this one I would say I would make a pair of lounge pants like Hudson pants and a sweater like Sheridan sweater so lounge set now then I take the colors that we have here and I try to think what if I separated my top and my bottom of garments made of this fabric what would I wear it with okay so we have in here pink like a muted burgundy or like a muted plum um, strawberry red gray black so let's say we go for black bottoms so I'm gonna go with this fabric here and that is a just a um, black poly crepe it's quite thin thin weight yeah quite fluidy so that will make something nice like a collot maybe or maybe a skirt so it's it's um, lightweight so nothing that needs to keep a form or a shape it's gonna be quite fluidy right so that's gonna be our bottom so that's bottom one I don't know how I'm gonna <laughs> arrange all this fabric okay bottom one is a woven so we now have one knit top and two bottoms one woven and one knit now let's pick another bottom with this one and i could go for either of these three so this is um cotton stretch cotton twill again st stretch cotton twill and that is a like a denim like a thickish denim fabric so I'm going to rule out the blue because I've had jeans in my last collection and also because well I don't know maybe we'll add the blue later on but um for now I think this will go nicely so I can wear this top with these trousers um so it's going to be a trouser fabric number two okay now let's pick another top fabric okay so we can pick it out of jerseys what do we have here um i have one cotton jersey here um cotton ponty sorry here potentially it could be a good match for this fabric but if i make a top out of this it just looks a bit this is too bright and this is too muted to go together so that's going to be a no so we're going to put it away now right next one this is a, another pink ponte ah, it's kind of muted as well and again you would go with this one i think but would this go together probably not this is a bit too bright so i'm going to put that away as well and this is i think a poly mix ponte and this could actually be a good match I don't know how it shows on camera but it's a very light like a quite a light peach it's not white right this is white this is peach and it's very very similar to like well it's not very similar but it goes it goes and this I don't mind that combination and obviously this top would go with the black trousers so let's just put it aside as another top okay now we have knits let's just pick some 
woven fabrics for the top parts. Now I've had this viscose crepe for a while and I know what I want, I want to make with it and it's I only have two meters but um, it is a fabric for a top. I could potentially put this one together and it would go as this one not too much but it would go as black but then it wouldn't go as this one so that's enough um i think i might actually go with the white double goes and pretend that i'm gonna make like a white shirt nice relaxed shirt you would really go nicely with this bottom garment you would go very nicely with this well white goes with everything and black so let's just put it um at the end there as a top now this is another cotton ponte i think it's 100 percent cotton ponte let's just say <laughs> for the sake of it if this is not a real collection it's a pretend collection so let's say for the pretend collection i'm going to make two sets so if i make the second set um of a loungy trousers and top out of this one then this top goes with this bottom this bottom goes with this top this top will go with the white bottom yes why not this trousers will go with this white top white top will go with black trousers and obviously white goes with white so this is our collection so far um now i would add something black to this and probably make a set out of woven fabric so out of woven fabric i have this this goes here which would go with this top is this bottom and then if i made a loungy top that would go with if i made a skirt out of that one that would go together as well don't see that working out too well definitely go with that one it would definitely ish go with that one and white and the pink would go together maybe maybe this one or another possibility is this viscose crepe um viscose chalet and that i see working out with literally everything that was that that was that like a song isn't it so i'm gonna go and put that away as beautiful as it is for our pretend collection <laughs> we're just gonna choose this and can i just say that for me polka dots and checks and animal print and stripes which i don't have right now but all those things I feel are almost neutral print because they have such a repeating small pattern and I'm talking small pattern so this is a big pattern and this is a small pattern if the polka dots were really huge I wouldn't pair them up together because this is not stealing their tension away from this beautiful variety of pattern so to me i could mix this and that i could also potentially mix this and this for example if this was a dress and this was a light summer coat i would wear them together i would totally wear this underneath that or um let's see this pattern I would wear these two together because they are they have to be the same color intensity this could potentially go in this collection as well but this collection is just growing into some sort of like a monster collection that I'll, I would never finish I would never pretend finish this collection <laughs> um, so yeah so I would say 
Also, I'd probably chuck this one in, which I am planning on making. This is like a, a polyester... I, th I think it's like a sweater knit. Yeah? So, I would chuck this in and make a nice cardigan out of it. And that would go with the vibe of this whole thing. And then, I would just take this cotton jersey and make like a cotton jersey top out of it and that would go with that it would go with that it would go with that with that with that with that and well that's that's a top anyway so so yes so this is my collection <laughs> um so let's just see now we're just checking that we have enough of everything okay so we have one cardigan we have tops, one, two, three, four, five, six, out of which are two woven and four knit. And in terms of pants, we have, because these are two double sets, one, two, three, four, five pants, out of which one two three woven and one two knit so in here i would say we had a really good combination of knit and woven and dressy and comfy so for example um if that was a skirt polka dot skirt maybe it was ruffles maybe like a wrap ruffle skirt midi length and that was a relaxed top made of ponty that could totally be worn together with nice heels yes that could be worn together with that as a top and the bottom or bottom or top and the bottom like that together lounging at home um, then top out of that could be worn with jeans for example made out of this and again with a dressy nice dressy earrings and uh, and the shoes especially given our current situation you can totally dress up and just go out like that, I think. Well, maybe not to a birthday party, but you know, at least to have a walk with a friend, um, socially distancing outside, so. White shirt, could be quite dressy, given that it's absolutely gorgeous, like a winter white. Is it like a, is this what they call um, optic white? I think so. So, you know, that could be worn with this one shirt with this bottom to work from home and take video Skype calls or work calls and you look dressy on top, but then you're super comfortable at the bottom. Then again, this shirt could be worn with this dressy skirt or the dressy pants um, for going out and, and chuck some nice sparkly, like a necklace on do your hair up you know why not very pretty and then this again if you want to dress it down you can check this oh my gosh the amount of stuff you can wear this cotton t-shirt with these bottoms and wear like I have a home set or you can wear this t-shirt with dressy black pants or black skirt and then have a bit more dressed up you know so anyway so that's it i mean shall we mix things up a bit <laughs> um and in fact do you know what actually i think this is not really needed if you think about it yeah because we have loads we have plenty of tops um if i wanted to add something something to it I would probably add an extra pant so let's just say we add this and again polka dot in my books is a neutral print <laughs> um, as long as it doesn't clash the colors of it don't clash it, they don't have to be the same but they can't clash with other fabrics in the mix so again this trouser will definitely go with this top will definitely go with this cotton jersey top right that's the bottom bottom this 
will go like a cute little outfit with this top. I say this would be quite a playful combination actually. This is a top and this is a bottom. Then obviously that will go with that. And then you just wear that cardio on top. You know, that cardio will go with everything in here. So maybe just add one of them. So it depends whether I would pretend need more trousers or more tops. You know, I can take things and add things and put them away. Then another potential here is this polyester knit and it has a um, really nice sparkling stitching in it sorry for the loose threads this white white fabrics um so um yeah this is a really stretchy i think this has like a 50 or 60 percent stretch to it so i could potentially actually make a black dress with a nice off shoulder panel or um you know like off one shoulder kind of one long sleeve one off shoulder look something like that to make this collection have like an I want to say evening look <laughs> um yeah potentially potentially so yeah things like that and then obviously this this could be incorporated I think I think if we didn't have this one if I take that one out and instead I put in here jeans so we'll make it more neutral then this fabric will go if I make it into a top and the skirt set it will go with this it will go with this it will go with this this and it could actually go with this depending so this would obviously be just like a straight pant and if this is like a floaty top and I wear shoes of this color you know what I would wear that together um, yeah definitely go with that you would go quite cutely with that because this is such a small pattern and that's a bigger pattern but yet they're within the same color palette yes would I wear this together oh yeah yeah definitely and then well that's just a dress but if that was a top then potentially could wear that together as well so anyway this little exercise just to give you a little idea on how I throw my collections together and I usually take much much longer to decide because that means a whole month of me making what I actually decide to make no deviations but in this case I just pull out fabrics of a similar color palette or the color palette of similar patterns so I would call for example these three similar similar color palette I would call these black and whites ignore that pink these ones are like a similar category would be for me then obviously you have your whites then you have your that that black goes in there that black goes in there you know this is I don't know what it is this would go with pinks so I would put all these pinks in here you know so I have like groups groups of ish similar ish things and then I have to put them next to each other and I have to make sure that everything or almost everything can be mixed and matched yeah so that's it <laughs> you guys I um, I hope you enjoyed that I apologize for the mess but I thought I get this video out because it's a nice creative like a messy one with um tracking pieces of fabrics across the floor so that's what we did um yeah thank you for watching okay my lovelies i hope you enjoyed that i hope i gave you some ideas food for thought again if you have any questions do pop them below in the comments 
and um, if you want to see more of these videos let me know just to let you know again this collection is not what I'm going to choose um, it was just like a sampling of putting fabrics together so what I just did is not my plans for March or April not necessarily mean that I'm gonna put these fabrics together I just did it as a little exercise for you guys to just show you the process of my thoughts I hope you enjoyed that and um, look out on the 4th of March um, my video of frugal frocks is coming up um, I'm super excited about it I have some really nice choices to talk about so you surely should know about frugal frocks 2021 I will put the details below but I will be talking extensively about it on Thursday the 4th of March so watch out for that and also go on Instagram and search for frugal frocks 2021 and you'll find a whole list of all the vloggers talking about it um, so you should definitely check them all out the ones that have already done the videos are really really good there's some really good choices and ideas in there I'm amazed yeah you you would have thought like how many free patterns can you find on the internet um go watch the videos anyway thank you for being with me today give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video okay love you all bye